Yo, what the fuck is good, y'all? It's your boy Bugs, back with the Full Circle Podcast. Got my guy K Gold in this bitch. Yo. Don't leave me hanging. Oh, my fuck, my fuck, bro. <laughs> I just... <laughs> First good. podcast, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's been a we we'll make it happen. We got we got a bunch of shit going on. We got the homies in the kitchen raging. It's Fourth of July, so we we decided to document this shit. We have to. So um, how you doing, brother? How you been? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. God continues to bless me every day. You Facts. know what I mean? It's, every day's a movie. <laughs> Fuck it. So I met this motherfucker throwing shows. I think you were at the first, the whole vibe, right? I was. I was at the first one. last August. Yeah. I met you from Day. I think Day got fans. Yeah, yeah. Because I pulled up to one up. of his shows, and then he was like, "Yo, I got this guy." He was like, "I, I was like, guy. okay, all right, who's this guy?" You know what I mean? Because <laughs> everybody says they got a, a fucking guy. You yeah, know what I mean? Who the so fuck is this guy? I pulled up to one of your shows and it was like a packed ass house. Yeah. I say, yo, okay, Vibes. it's a vibe in this bitch. And like mm-hmm. all the artists was like dope, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I like connecting with different artists. So yeah. ever since then, you know, it's been rocking out. Yeah, that's that's love, dude. And that's, uh, I, I switch every show up, obviously. And a lot of the people that I've been doing this stuff with recently has been to... To find new artists, sure. but you're the one I've had at every single one. Oh, like shit, that's every love. single one you've been at. That's yeah, that laugh is so funny. I have to point it out. I think that was probably kicking. <laughs> that shit is hilarious. <laughs> Fucking um, no, but I've done. I think a whole vibe five is in two weeks. Mm. So I've done four over that bunch of open mic Johns Hell that yeah. you've been at every one. I was, yeah. And the overall consensus is you. K Gold's the dopest. <laughs> so like we give away money to every John. It's not like we don't just take the money and give it to the security and the cleaning fee. We give it to like a motherfucker who comes with the best vibe and and every single time you've done it so far, which is Ace. which is awesome. Like even the one where Shahali and the set one, like Shahali, Elena, and who was T, mm. you were the name that was there the most. But I know I called you and explained why you didn't get it though. Yeah, 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 because yeah, yeah. of the they they were they produced all their shit and it was there there was no backing vocals yeah. but the next time you didn't do just as good you upped it and you won that and then the next one you won again and then the last one you just won which is a different lineup <laughs> it's a different lineup of show boiler room there's a different criteria to what it needs and you pulled up and you had another show right back in Delaware so yeah. The hustle, I do want to commend the hustle. Like, that's really what it takes. I do the most shit. I'm doing the most all the time. So when I see somebody else who's running their ass around the shit and just performing, and not only not only are you working the most, you're the best at everything, that's obviously going to stand stand over everything. Shit, dog. I appreciate that. So, like, that, even, yeah. like, and it's funny, like, you're saying that this is your first podcast and shit, and, like, Mark these words here. This is going to be something. Like I said, you don't have anything on YouTube yet. This Hell being yeah. your first shit, that's going to be crazy because people yeah. are going to want to know where your mindset was at this time because you're going somewhere. You know what I mean? For sure. And that's kind of the reason that I do everything I do. I want to have these branches of stories of artists that I'm connecting with and yeah. really paint their story as best as I can for what they have to offer and shit. So I just want to say thank you. You're killing everything. Every show you come, you murder. Everybody loves it. <laughs> Climbing the fucking roof and shit. It's clutch. Dude, and I didn't even set the ladder up that time. I didn't even do it. I'm going to put clips of this right Yo, here, actually. Like, we, got, we need to talk about that real quick. Okay, look. So I, I came in, right? And I'm like, yo, bugs, yo, I've been peeping this for a long ass time. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just high enough so, so I'm like, The ladder yeah. wasn't set up when I got there, but I was like, yo, can you set the ladder up for me so, you know, I could, you mean? I mm-hmm. forget what you said, but I, I don't know if you was going to do it or, you know what I'm saying? Or you was you was running around because at these I, shows you be like, yeah, you be like, I, I gotta get here, I gotta get here, I gotta do. Because he, yo, he grinds for real, like no mm. cap. This man be doing everybody's sets, making sure everybody's shit sound good, doing his own shit. This man's in the middle of a set, mm-hmm. going back, making sure that the shit is good. It's all crazy, and he just that's moves. that's that's it stems from the top, bro. If yeah. The person running the shit is that concerned. That's yeah. why the parties are good. That's every why time. everything is like, yeah. You you it really show care good. for your shit and mm-hmm. not just for your shit but for the other artists that come. So mm-hmm. you really do show love. It helps so, when they're fucking talented like you helps, though. Yeah. <laughs> like it, it helps okay. it you helps know. when it's enjoyable. That's <laughs> yeah. the whole point though. Yeah. It's that there's nothing being grabbed that isn't genuine. Yeah. I, we're all fans of each other. For we didn't sure, know each sure. other in a couple months ago. Yeah. But once we all like realize, okay, this is their pocket, this is their pocket, dude, it's it's beautiful, dude. So like when you said like the show before that, I don't, even, I don't know if you remember, you mentioned the ladder. Mm. You mentioned the ladder from the other show, from the last one. Okay. You were okay, like, okay. oh, next time, can we get that ladder? Oh, yeah, there? yeah, 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 yeah. I but did, there I was did. a lot of artwork in that corner, so I was like, 
dude, yes, definitely. Like, if it's set up, we can do it. So <laughs> I, when you asked me to get the ladder, I was like, I was iffy with the reaction because I didn't know where it was because I saw the, the owner, he took it to use it for something else on the other side of the building. Yeah. But right before I had planned to have you go up, he just happened to bring it back, but didn't fold it back up. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it wasn't even an owner. It was it was some light skinned dude with like a. No, he's a, a, he's, a he's part owner. Oh, he's part yeah, owner. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so it was him. He went up there, and I seen him like walking around like getting boxes. You're eyeing shit. this shit. Up. I was like, oh. yo, you know Cam, right? Cam yeah. Almighty. He uh-huh. was eyeing the same shit, but I was like. I'm gonna go up there first though. Yeah, no. Because I know what it is. No, you know I had it set up for that. I'm not like, like nobody steal this yeah. shit right here because this is a genius. You heard what idea. they said that the uh, King King said that he was like during he said he's like, yo, I love you, I don't know you, but like I'm not gonna lie, I'm mad that you got that last <laughs> shit off. Like, <laughs> I was the first and last person to do it. It's not the gonna happen and, again. The first and last. Because that's, that's that's what he said. He, the owner, like St. Luke, shout yeah. out St. Luke. He was shout like, out to him, yo. He's like, yo, this is fire. But I re- <laughs> when I was watching it, I realized, wait, I own this building, and like <laughs> if something happens, it's me. If he busts his oh, ass coming God. off this wall, it's over. It's so funny, dude. But it was the way that that happened was. Was just sporadic. It was a moment because I didn't know that the ladder was there, yeah. but I knew I wanted to do it. And you, I don't know if you remember this. You came up to me and you're like, "Can I do the ladder?" And I looked over and I saw it was there. I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. was a genuine like, oh shit, it's there. Oh, yes. shit, it's there. Absolutely, do it. Go, go, go. Fucking go. And do then it. You, you walked away and you turned around. Wait, turn the lights off. I was like, okay. And I ran and turned the lights <laughs> off. And you can hear in some people's clips of the phones when you watch it back. Like some people are like, "What's happening? Where, where is he? Where is he? Where, where, is he? where did he go? Did he disappear?" And then, I, and then I'm in the corner. You don't see me in the video, but I remember going like, "He's up there!" <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> fucking <laughs> legendary, yo. Acting all shocked, and then like it just got lit from there. Like it was funny. I was wondering how you're gonna get down. The way that you climbed down was fucking fire too. You know, super I, spidey kegel. Ever ever since I was a kid, you know, I was a little bit of an acrobat. You know, just climbing shit. Yeah, I grew up around all boys. You know what I'm saying? It mm. was just me and my brothers. You know what I'm saying? So Terrified we of hitting heights. flips off tables and shit. walls and fences and green boxes and mm-hmm. all that shit. You know, we're just real trench kid shit. So yeah, you just, everything you just turned straight up. Just jumped jumped on all of us too, if you wanted to. Like it was, it's I a was, little high. But it's not even that it was high, right? Mm-hmm. I was thinking people weren't prepared. I got, that's what I'm saying. I was thinking this is a sporadic moment right now, and this is Everyone not was something just happy that, that, is that it was normal. Like happening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So everybody, you know, got their cell phone lights out and shit like nah, that, and, you know, waving and singing <laughs> the song. They wouldn't even see it. Yeah. If I would have just jumped. I felt like I was going nah, nah, to fold did, you myself. You did the right thing. You climbed down the right way. Yeah. I felt like I was going to fold. <laughs> but it was so funny because I knew, I, knew, I knew Luke was going to grab the mic. After, like, <laughs> I was like, yo, that was awesome. But yo. He, he ended up coming up to me afterwards and was like, yo, that shit was no, so it was awesome. lit. That's that what I'm saying. So lit. That's what I'm saying. That's why I love working with Luke and them because they like, they understand that there's a professionalism we have to keep to yeah. like keep it safe. But For they sure. also like... You got to acknowledge how epic it was. Yeah. You can't just be... You can't just be stuck up. You can't lie. Yeah, yeah. you can't be like, yo, that wasn't epic. Yeah, really That was though. fucking epic. And it was worthy for that moment, too. Yeah. And that's So, what like, I- that's that's what... It's not, like... It's not because you bring people out or because... Just because you climbed a ladder, dog. It's like <laughs> the music and the performance was nailed on top of it. It's like there's levels to this shit, for real, for yeah. real. So, like... A lot of the artists that, like, I love everybody. Everybody that performs at my shows, I handpick, essentially. But they see the levels of it. Like, kind of how we were talking over there. Like, I go first because I'm setting the bar. Yeah. Not because... Uh, it's also to take away that weird feeling of, oh, I got to go first. Like, a lot <laughs> of artists feel weird about that. My shows are different, if you notice. Like, that's why you, you're the only... You... And one other person, like, I only had two other people, like, consistently go after me, and both of them passed away. Oh, so, wow. like, the, the person that I have go after me is always Sorry a very it. important thing for me as far as energy yeah. to, like, continue the show and keeping it going. For sure. So, I already have planned to, like, have you go mainly at those spots, but also you're coming from a long distance, so I want you to have, like, a spot in the night where you can chill for a little instead of, like, just going right when you get there. But for you to be like, yo, can I go after you? Because of you were aware of the energy, yeah. the shifting of that happens after that, yeah. regardless of who goes, that's that's the shit I mean, being in tune with it. It's not just about doing the most, because you're doing the most. It's not about being the best, because you're one of the best. It's like it's also about being really in tune with what's around you and what, what you can maneuver and shit, and being aware of that. And typically, most artists in your position of 
of talent or whatever will be like, I want to go at this time at the end or because they think the end of the night is like yeah, when it's most lit. They think it's like you're a headliner. Yeah, you know it's not I mean? how gotta, it is, dude. You gotta it's, come in. You gotta learn how to peep. Yeah, you, know? you gotta learn how to bring value to other people's shit. Yeah. It's not just what can I get out of this? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because I don't even think like that. I pull up to that show I don't, I don't care about that money. It should, yeah. I don't care about winning. That's how it shouldn't be. I'm here to put on this fucking show for these people that paid this money to get in this fucking deal. Yeah, that's how it that's should be. That's what it is. That's, yeah. that's what being an entertainer is. Uh-huh. And that's why it shows. It shows in the performances and shit. You know what I mean? It shows in the consistency of what's like... It's obvious, honestly. Everybody, like, beforehand, you could kind of be like, okay, I think it's going to be between these three people. Mm. You know, like, with the lineup when you just look at it. But then when you're there, you're like, oh, shit. This person slipped up a little bit tonight, like with, mm. with whatever what happens, you know what I mean. So like the other night at uh at the boiler room, like the set was crazy, obviously, and I had planned to play the next song, but DJ fuck up being his typical self, <laughs> it was in iTunes, Shout so it automatically played the next song in the playlist, which was the song that I wanted to like hold off on for ten fucking seconds, mm. but it went right into it, and that was like. I mean, you know that song's a song, dude. That's the one where you climb the roof to. That <laughs> that shit, like, there's something about it. You know what I mean? It just hits it hits the spot. You know what yeah. I mean? So, like, just by throwing that on there, like, it was my executive decision. But overall, like, with it, with Cal not knowing or several other, or the owner, self-employed, them not knowing, they were like, that last song, that last song. And then I was able to say, oh, well, he wasn't even going to do that. You know, like, and that's. Like where shock, the contributions matter, you yeah. know what I mean? For example, Manifest and like Hendo, they weren't on the bill. They didn't know they were performing. You weren't there, but I surprised them. Yeah. Like they were just because they supported and came, I was like, yo, can y'all bless us and open the show? Yeah. So instead of me going first this time, they did. That's like dope. they set it off for me. But they didn't know that they were still eligible to win the money, even right. though they only did one song. Oh wow, wow, wow. So like they were still eligible if someone else that was already there didn't take it. So I think, dude, I think it, it's it's crucial. Like, and and it's being split up. Like, you've won every time, but it's been pieces. Yeah. So like, it was it's what was it like seventy five here, fifty here, a hundred yeah, here, one fifty you know, here, one fifty yeah. here. Yeah. So so it's still being spread out evenly in some sense of like the energy is perfect. Whose laugh is that? I have no idea. I'm sampling the fuck out of it. No, hey, yo, <laughs> hey, yo, whose laugh is that? Because that laugh, shit is. Who's is that Tira? Like that? Is that Tira? Whose laugh is that? Is that, is that you, Tara? <laughs> it was it's Tara. It's Tara. She's wearing glasses. Right it's Tara. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's great. <laughs> you sound like a ghost. Come say hi. Come say hi. <laughs> come on in. Come on in. Hop in the middle. Hop in the middle. <laughs> hey, yo, look, look. This is this is Tara. Look, I'm about to bring her on as photographer or something. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Yo, this is this hey, is D2 poppin', fucking yo? crazy. Y'all gonna know the fucking name. Hey, he come here and take over the fucking so look, game. Look, look, look. Come on, no, come on. Talk your shit. Oh, shit. Hold on. Oh, shit, my man. Yeah, look, my name D2 crazy. Look, if you don't know me, shit, you gonna get to know me. You hear me? It's my brother right here, Gay Go. You know what I'm saying? We running this bitch up. This, this is a moment in time right now that y'all witnessing right now. I ain't gonna lie. But look, once we get it big, y'all gonna be like, damn. Damn, we used to know them niggas. Like, we used we to chill on the block then, with these niggas. I seen this video when it was at 100 views. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, now we had a billion, you heard me? Like, we up there, you heard me? <laughs> coming for the spot. We coming for the top more house yeah, shit. We over here trying to take more over house. shit, you heard me? Okay. We're not coming. Look, we're not coming here. <laughs> look, we're not coming here to play no games, you heard me? <laughs> Tell you, you heard me? Look, we about to run this bitch up, you know? Y'all gonna see. <laughs> you want to say something? Go ahead. You want to laugh at it? <laughs> Introduce the infamous laugh, bro. Introduce the infamous laugh. Hold on, you got that? Hey, look, this ain't money, you hear me? Ain't money, money on the beat. Ain't money. Ain't money, baby. I'm getting ready to start my own podcast, so you feel me? Tune in with me. You feel me? I'm going to tune in. Where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going? Hot box, box. Like we gonna be on a that terrace hot box coming soon. Y'all right? tune in, bro. Yeah, but look, we all gonna be big at one day, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's gonna happen y'all like that. Y'all better, y'all better get on the train for that bitch. 
flee out here, hear me? Yeah. We're going to be gone. They're going to double back. They're going to try to. 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 It's too late. It's too late. You should have been on. Look, I punched I punch tickets two minutes ago, so y'all niggas too late. Yeah. The train gone. We gone. In the stratosphere. Can't catch up. Taking a trip to space. Won't be back. I got to pay a fee. Planet. I want to see us again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> another planet right now. So, since I got all y'all there, I, I'll just ask like two, three questions. Fucking starting from whoever wants to go first. Okay, can you go be on the podcast? If you, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Ooh. Wow. Speed. speed. I'm already knowing speed. speed. Right, I can do it. You know what? Listen. listen. No, 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 no. Okay, go, 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 go. Think about it. Look, look, look. Y'all think about it. Look. With speed, think about how much things I could do in a matter of a second. Like as fast. I'm getting. I'm getting. I'm getting through shit. Getting farther in life than what y'all doing because I'm moving like. Fuck, a, a billion times faster. Nah, you know, not if you work in no fucking job, hold you know. No, I mean, look, if you want to rob a like, bank with speed, you can rob a bank. Exactly. Job could happen. Listen, I don't you know even need mean? a job. I'm a fucking superhero at this point, my nigga. I have. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, you, you never seen, you never seen Crooks? I could be a villain. You ever seen that joke, Crooks? Have, they was broke as heroes and villains. They was broke as fuck. They was. But look, you know what I'm saying? Listen, listen, listen. Here's what here's here's the superpower I have, and I've never heard nobody say this shit. I'm one of a kind. You understand? You dig? So look, right. I want I the mean, power to I'm control listening. molecules. molecules. You know what you could do? Okay, okay. I can control everything. See, molecules true, true, true. and atoms true, 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 is everywhere. True, true, true. I ain't gonna lie, listen, I that's can fire, control though. Listen, literally you can turn, everything. You can turn this, look, I don't know if y'all can see this, look. Y'all can turn this mic right that here. Mean, what does that mean? So you know how it's molecules so, in the so air. So like mine, I would be vibration, which is like controlling the everything. Literally, because exactly. Like, that's exactly what I'm saying. I'm rage. basically yeah. God now. Vibration. Basically, I ain't gonna bow lie down. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You think what I'm saying? Like that's he crazy. He can turn his mic right here and turn a million bucks if he wanted to. Really simple. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I control it. I control it. Like silver surfers, like the strongest motherfucker or some shit. Yeah, bro. Silver surfers crazy. Have orgasms though. <laughs> nah, I wonder. <laughs> yo, you know what? Yo, you know imagine. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, imagine you yeah. fucking with a shorty, bro. No. She would never. She would never be able to leave, bro. You giving this bitch fifty thousand orgasms at once? It's ah. over. It's done with. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. She about to be. Oh. Vibration is the polite way of saying it. Come here, bitch. You want this vibration? Stop moving at super speed. Think about music too, like. Yo, yo, communication vibrate like you can, yeah, that's yo, true. it's, it's that's literally true. everything. I can manipulate that's any like, sound. That's what I thought about. Yeah, that's what I'm so talking about. Because like I think matter, like what scientists say, is that all this shit's just like it breaks down into molecules and matter. atoms. Yeah, like these solids are technically not. They're not, really touching. not touching. They're not really yeah. touching. Like, really, I, nothing. If I, I can find, I'm not really touching this table. I can really go through this. Yeah, I'm touching this. I feel that. Yeah, nah, no, yeah, for but sure. Really, I'm not touching none of this. But, but yeah. in theory, like we could spread out and yeah. Yeah. inside shit. Yeah. Well, nah, the possibilities like will be lim- limitless with that power for no. sure. But yeah, power- then I think vibration could control speed. I think it technically becomes everything. It, it's everything mm-hmm. yeah. in one. Yeah. I could fly with that. The molecules that's under my feet, I can just. Yeah. I basically got like every superpower except like heat vision or some shit. Nah, bro. If I had to pick, I would probably pick the fly only because I don't like traffic. So I'm, just like, <laughs> I'm going, bro. Nah, that's solid. I feel uh, like everybody says take a nap. Go by yourself. Sleep like, in a cloud, my nigga. Everybody says super speed. But look, speed is a, it's, it's a lead though. Speed is a lead though. Speed is a lead. It's definitely a lead. It's fire. Just, go fast. just a phew. But I asked my mom, I was like, do you want to teleport or fly? It was the same thing. He was like, nah, dude. I want to, like, look at stuff. I wanna yeah, I want to enjoy the I'm not going to lie. Teleport. Because look, with teleportation, look, with teleportation, can you, you go through time? Can you teleport through time type shit? Teleport? No. Now, that's a whole debate right there in fly. itself, yeah. And he was like, fuck it. I want to fly. I want to, like, look at shit. I think I... I think I want to teleport. I think I want to like, teleport. Look, right? nah, teleport. Peep this. And my brain work kind of like, teleportion, teleportation, teleportation. Look, you <laughs> need in the ladder if you're gonna teleport. That's what I'm saying. That's true. Look, look, and it's like this. Like you want to see. Like, you like, you wanna see a, you could fly with teleportation. That's what I'm saying. You want to see a journey? You could just keep teleporting. Like, 
You know what I'm saying? And you get like snap moments. And if you could you teleport, teleport time, up to the sky, you could, and just, you could change. You could change life itself. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't. I don't even think I would want to do that. Nah. You be, I'm talking about you ever seen want, like if you want to be rich? The only thing I do. Is yeah, like if it was but you don't know what you're affecting with that. Look, save all this money. Hey, listen. That's if you want to be selfish. You fucking talking about if you what it could affect and all that. Other I don't shit. think I want to do it. I'll be it, selfish. It, it defeats the whole journey. Like the journey is a fun process. True. It's like Personally, I take pride in it. So of course, of course, of course, always, bro. We talking about super pride. Right right now, <laughs> but I'm saying you talking about. <laughs> Boom! If I could have any power, bro, it would be super intelligence because then you could figure out how to get yourself the other powers. You feel me, like? Everybody's yeah. looking up to you because you got the you got the answers, okay. you got the answers for everybody. So you got the answers that everybody needs. So really, like you're running shit. You feel me? So and you can figure out how to give yourself other powers. You but, can figure out uh, everything. So, yo, Here's what I want to know. Here, hold if on. She was the genie, and you were like, and we placed a wish. You would give us the wish. Yeah, basically. You like, give us some type crazy type other type you could. So 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 hold on. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That shit would be OP because look, imagine. Just somebody like me who has the power to control like molecules, basically everything. I'm already god level. I go to the motherfucker like this with super intelligence, and I want some off the wall crazy shit. I'm gonna get it. But boom, like because I know everything. Though you feel me? Like people is basing their entire. Life you mean off like of what I say? Because they know I know everything. You feel me? Like yeah, I got that. Like, I got like you have all knowledge change. type yeah, shit. Right, yeah, like I got so that's basically oh, God. Basically, she God. She God. She God. She God. Yeah, 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 Knowing, you bro. should not be on earth no that more. Is that, is that God for real? Is that, is that what God is for? All knowing, I'm this you know, I'm be present, all that. So like definitely, that I ain't gonna lie. So look, if you say super intelligence, that's that. Huh? If she say, if, <laughs> but if it's she a say difference. Super, if she say super intelligence, then that's basically God for real. I no, feel no, like no, no, it's God a difference between life. Though I can't do that. All I know is I got the answer for it. Yeah, and then and then you get the answer to this. Like I say, how do I create life? This nigga come to you and say, that is true. You can't create life. You are one. You know what I mean? If you get like, technical, hey, how do I create life? And you just blah, 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 blah. You say that shit. Look, you got to. That's what I'm saying. That's but, super but I'm not putting. I'm not putting the work in myself. You feel me? I'm just giving. Oh, you just other, giving motherfuckers the answer. Giving the answer, bro. Okay, so you, you more like order. You yeah, bro. Order. I just know what I know, but I'm just handing it out like freebies. You feel me? I'm just trying to. Get so you do freebies? You want to have motherfuckers? You in charge? I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm charging. Seriously, but physical things come into role. So like. The person, for example, who's fast, who can go like faster than a second, that person's body is probably like capable of withstanding that speed, but you can't just learn that. Right, your right. Body can't handle that speed. Right? But uh, I can probably you can't learn it, but you can't get the answer to it. How to cope? Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. You can okay, understand okay. the mathematics, but like your body yeah. is so yeah. exactly. This is like warping just right like now. Just like vibration. For real. We so if we get deep into it, she really can't do anything. <laughs> if we get no, deep into it, she really can't do anything. If we get deep into it, she really can't. She really can't do anything, but if you're we, we talking about from a, a different type of level, well, we, a different, different type of like perspective, different type of perspective from looking at Oh, for sure, for sure. I'm over Marvel, I'm Avengers. Over Avengers. I'm over DC. Yo, real yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm over DC. No cap. You ain't lying. DC comics are start. DC movies are starting to become. The comics is fire though. I'm not talking about the comics. I ain't gonna lie. But the movies is like the DC movies are trash. I ain't gonna lie. Like, uh, like lately, bro. It, bro. You gotta watch it. I mean, like that Batman versus Superman, bro. Not oh, yeah. Not it, bro. You wanna you wanna come back and, f- and finish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I said it. All right, bro. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, see, y'all gonna see me Hold soon. Hold on, let them know. Let them know you is. I see three Y. I see three Y. Follow me on Instagram. It's music underscore junkie three. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Hey, listen, I, I ain't going to lie. I ain't want to do no free promo, but look, if y'all want to follow me. <laughs> do it, do it. Look, if y'all want to follow me, look, D, D, period, two, period, crazy. You know I mean? If y'all want to follow me, man, period, it's my brother, two, man. period, crazy. Look, man, y'all fuck with us. Y'all follow us, man. Morehouse, the label, man. We're going to complete this shit, man. Y'all All see what way, it man. is. Never. M's up. Listen, bro, if y'all want to hop on the train, look, that bitch about to leave, man. Pretty choo, soon. Choo-choo. <laughs> I'm about to start saying that shit. I'm punching tickets. <laughs> That's fire. I'm coming. I'm just pouring some drink. Nah, you good, man. You all good. Yo, I love y'all niggas, yo. Y'all lit, bro. Look at my dogs. Hold on, hold on. Where August at? Ah, okay, okay, okay. They gotta meet the manager one day. He ain't trying to get free. He ain't trying to get no. Y'all gonna see all of us, bro. Y'all gonna see all of us.
Hell yeah. You ain't try, <laughs> trying to get freaky. You ain't trying to get naughty. Nah, time not a step in. I'm looking real nice. I don't even want your pussy. Want your head like life. What's yeah. going to be fuck? I ain't got to ask twice. I ain't got to ask twice. I ain't got to ask once. Got two, three bitches and they think I'm the one, but I'm the one. Hit it, quit it, hit it once and now I'm out of there. <laughs> 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 I'm putting that audio there. So that's the thing too. That's like, it's funny tied into like, I was only able to surprise them with like their performance at the show because I had their audio from yeah. everything that I've been doing. Mm. So like I'm realizing the position that I'm in beyond like, oh, I have a spot where we can throw shows or it's a party is like, yeah. and I'm running the sound. It's like, no, dude, I, I can like, we have time. Who the fuck? Can, like, it's not like there's a time limit on ending the show is what I'm saying. Yeah. So why the fuck wouldn't I allow this person who I really fuck with to perform? For sure. Even if it's a song or two or three that are a minute each. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, <coughs> it's, it's different, dude. It's, it's just different than what's happening because I've gone to <coughs> other local events and I actually want to ask you how the other ones are, but like the things that I've gone to locally, they're not like audio wise. They're just not good shows. <sighs> So it's tough to deal with. It doesn't matter how good the I got performer it. I got is. It's so many stories. Because <laughs> so like, you're coming from Delaware and shit. I'm so coming you go, from, you've been going to Baltimore and. I'm coming from fucking everywhere. How are bro. they? How are the other ones? It's like hit or miss. You know, sometimes I get up there and like one of their speakers be blown. Mm. And the mic's like. That, eh. That's all. That's, you know, that's, that's it for me. Yeah, like as the a performer. For me there. As a performer, I just, you know, I push through everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Mm-hmm. I done performed that hole in the wall. You know what I mean? So it's mm-hmm. like, and this is what got me so good to well, be able to do Well, people are going to be aware that, okay, the sound sucks. Yeah, they're going to be know, aware of gonna it, but they're going to the be art, like, you know what? But it's still not, yeah. Here's that, how I think about it. You, you know can what? still sound good through this, it. Yeah. My voice is, I got a semi-trained voice, mm-hmm. you know? I fuck mm-hmm. up sometimes. I feel like everybody fuck up sometimes, but. Yeah, but you could just go through it. I just go, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I just go through it. So motherfuckers will be like, you know what? The sound and the speaker was fucked up, and it was like, <laughs> but he still sounded like that. But yeah. this motherfucker sound professional for real. Mm-hmm. I like that kid. So I get, it. I get it. Yeah, so yeah, it'd yeah. be some shit like that. So I feel you, cause like a lot of, cause also people, people be saying like, um, there's this, there's this <coughs> connotation or like weight or over like the word local, like a local artist, like motherfucker, like that's not really not. You're not a local artist. You're going to different states. So am I. <laughs> yeah. Like. I'm just, this is just where I'm at, and I realize that where I'm at, nothing's happening. Yeah. So I'm choosing to be the one to, to curate up. and throw these things because yeah. everything else that I've gone to is not isn't done. done right. Yeah, yeah. It's garbage. You know what my father like told sound, me? Like sound. Sound not, 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 not the people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not, not that. Like everybody's cool, but like it's, dude, like we got to remember we're doing music this shows. Is, yeah. These are music events. It's all about the sound. If you have a PA speakers and no sub, then you're going to be fucked and everybody's going to be pinching that high end. And what happens when you pinch the high end is that distortion happens. Yeah. And when that distortion happens, they don't know what to do because they want it to be loud and they're not getting that feeling that the sub gives. Because yeah. our generation is all bass. All bass, all so, 808s. So when you're not getting that, they're just cranking the PA. And, and they're blowing the speakers. And it's blowing the speaker. <laughs> and if it's not blowing the speaker, the, the thing's just clipping. Yeah, it's clipping. So the, the speaker's not blowing yet. But, but it's they're, gonna, they're it's about, gonna, it's they're about to blow it's it. Yeah. So, like, these are little things as, like, an engineer and a sound guy. By doing my own shit, like, throwing my own shows and stuff, yeah. I've learned about how that goes. And it's just so crucial. Like, <coughs> people forget, like, <coughs> okay, we got good people who are down to party, dude. It's, dude, just fucking focus on the sound. <laughs> just get bass there. That's really what all that matters. Get some 808s there. Yeah. That so, like, bass for, go for through people's body like, and make them want to move. Like, tonight, I would have brought my PA to the, to the pool party. Like, still couldn't, honestly. But, but it won't be the same, you know. It'll mm-hmm. be like I would, I would be very aware that it's only that, and it would change the songs I perform. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. So, like as an artist, if you, because you're doing a lot of events, for example, so if you talk to these other people and like say, like, hey, what sound system are you working with? First of all, it lets them know, like, this okay, is, he's serious, yeah. but. It's probably most of the time it'll put them on the spot. Like, wait, I don't even know what we're working with, yeah. you know. And that'll really show like who what you're working with right away. Yeah. Like, what's the sound like? Just like that's just a good generic question to be like, you know what I mean? What you're working with? Because like some songs you need that 808 in the background to make it absolutely, be felt. Absolutely. So, but but other songs like Boom Bap mainly is just you can just talk your shit. Yeah. yeah. So like Boom Bap is really good with just the PAs and shit. But like the dance music that I do. 
Like the Miami buggy. That should be happy. <laughs> hey, yo, look. If one thing Bug knew how to do, yo, this man will make you groove. Like, yeah. Think young girl, I gotta get mine. Yeah, Think young girl, I gotta get mine. That's my shit, bro. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> that's, and that's the thing, shit. too. That was a... Uh, that's an example of like every time I make a set for a new show, like I look through all my, I just go, I pit open on here yeah. and I go, I just look the files of the names I don't remember. And that was one of them. It was called Divine. And I made that beat that I completely forgot about. Oh, wow. So like that's, it's so bassy when it comes in and it fades in and it's like. And it's like, you could really feel it. Like, yeah, it's like reggae tone, but it's like still like. It has that dance. I don't know, even know how to describe it, to be honest. It's almost like, like Afro with like... Uh, yeah, it's Afro yeah, beat. It's like, like uh, there's... I don't know how to describe it, but... And it's super just all... It's just all sub at that point. But yeah. without the sub, I can't do that song. Because how that comes in and trickles in at that yeah. spot. It needs to be felt. So I wouldn't perform... That's what I mean. Yeah. So like if artists can be aware of that, then it doesn't matter where you perform for real. Like as far as this ethic is chosen, but yeah. there are certain songs that you have to do every time. Like yeah. yours, you yeah. have you have one of them. Yo, and I tried to know. get away from it because yeah. honestly, I be getting tired of performing back in business. Yeah, no, it's good, but like, but everybody you don't just, have to do you don't have to do the same thing every time. Are you for doing back it, in business? You know, you know? I, yeah, I try to switch it up. You know what I mean? Like the lights is no, just like can. a staple. You know, no, 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 like, no, you can like, and I I never do things like that. I'm not. I'm, I've never been the like uh, the crowd director kind of performer. <laughs> I've always been the. Cause I usually set it off, but it's more for me. It's like I want to see a, uh, I want to see what it does to people. Yeah, I want people to be doing their own thing, and the music bring them. The music just. That's what a lot of artists don't understand. That was like when I first started throwing shows. I learned that like a lot of artists are like, "Hey, yo, where you at? Make noise!" Da, da, da. Like if you notice, I do the opposite. I'll be like, make no noise. I'll be like, make no noise. <laughs> yeah, like and, I, and people are like, what? Uh, yeah. oh, we don't know what to do. <laughs> it worked. It worked because like. But but I do that in the stagnant moments because mm. people are listening, but like they just don't want to hear the typical DJ. That's why DJ fuck up I think is a beautiful thing because yeah. it's like it gives that whole comedic route. Yeah, it's option. like a comedic relief. Yeah, yeah, it's like it gives me that route to fuck shit up and just say whatever I want. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a disclaimer in a way. But but it's really interesting watching how. Um, different shows and locally and the scale depending on the people and like the thing that i've learned i'm not sure how many people like the most people you performed in front of but th the less people the harder it is you, you know that's what? what people don't understand like before they think a lot of people scary it's not <laughs> it's, 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 it's a lot of people little, is not scary yeah, at it's all the like, little you just got to get over the hump Bef not little people before i was doing music like hip-hop wise mm -hmm. i actually grew up in church and this is this is the story of how I got into music. Yeah, you can music, see, I you know can see that. Yeah. So, I well, started yeah. Off, after that, I want you to tell, like, if you can, tail into it where the name K Gold came from. Okay, well, I'll, I'll that, get into yeah. that too. I'll get into that too because this is like how I found myself as an artist. And shit. Yeah. So this is this is crazy. So both my parents are pastors, mm -hmm. right? So no matter where I found myself, I was always in the hood, somewhere in the fucking hood. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. Going to church every Sunday, I'm playing the keys. Like I was like music director, you know word, what I'm saying? Word. So Do you I'm still teaching. Play him? Yeah, I still I still play the keys. Just yeah. jam with us, dude. First, I'll be trying to, but it's you know the drive back there is like crazy. So yeah, it's but like, also uh, the other Luke is the keys too, church keys too. So okay, he'd he be playing the keys when it's there, but but no, Luke we have that a beast. Yeah, he's a problem. Luke is a beast. Yeah, he's a problem. I watched him play, and I was like, yeah, this guy's word. a beast. So that's what it is. So that's what's funny. My dad, like, not to cut you off, my dad was like. Like, all right, you don't want to go to church and shit. My dad's not even religious. He's spiritual. But mm. he was like, that's where the best musicians are. No, that's facts. Like, the best musicians that's are facts. church musicians. Beyonce, and ever since Farnsay he said that, I was church. like, I like really took notice on their drummers. And, dude, the drummers of church are wicked, bro. And the, every, everyone, obviously. But yeah. I'm just like, oh, what, oh, you do church? Okay. You're the best ever. Like, yo, if you find a musician and they're like, yo, I grew up in church. I started playing the drums in church. You know that motherfucker I went to cold. church one time in my life. You know life, that motherfucker And I didn't cold. go to, like, I went to, like, the typical American white church that okay, wasn't, okay. like... No music. Specifically like... Veggie Tales. Specifically <laughs> like, like Veggie Tales. Tales. <laughs> <laughs> when I went there, I was like, like, what the fuck is happening? If you go to any black church with an organ, 
It's yeah. over. You're going to yeah. find you a good musician in there. Mm-hmm. And they all swap. It's, it'll be like five different musicians. Five yeah, and they get to express drums. differently, too. They have dancers That's and all that saying. shit, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's like, so it's a, it's, it was definitely like a, a good environment for me to be in musically. What you was your, um, so, what was your, like, you, so Strictly Keys was your no, thing? No, I played, I started off on the keys. No, mm-hmm. actually, no, I'm lying. I started off on the drums. But then we got a drummer. That was like way better than Ridiculous, me. Ridiculous. Yeah. So I moved to the keys because I was like, you know what? I'm going to just learn a new instrument. It's like I'm, yeah. I'm cool at the drums, so I'm going to just learn a new instrument. So I picked mm-hmm. up the keys. And I was still playing drums like in between, you know, like switched off because he could play mm-hmm. the keys too. So we did that for a while. I'm, I end up like music director like two, three years later after learning everything like that. <laughs> Now I'm like leading praise and worship. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> teaching the choir their parts. You know what I'm saying? So it was like music was just ingrained in me from like What's since that I called? Child. The person that does that. Uh, director. I don't. I don't. Director. I, this is like, a, yeah, this is normally for like on, yeah the orchestra. Like, this is normally like for ensemble. You're not gonna really see yeah. this in church that much. But, but directing that shit, you're basically. I don't know what the word. Producer, like I'm your music all, director. Yeah, honestly, music director, that's, that's yeah. what it is. So. It came to a point where I got older. I was I say around like sixteen, turning seventeen. Some stuff I went on with the family, mom and my mother and father ended up splitting up. So it put me in a real dark spot. Mm-hmm. But I knew I still wanted to do music because music was always like my heart, you know. Even like how I am now, the drive I had, I still always had that drive. Like I'm talking like and this is what you mean, like performing in front of like big people. I was getting flown out to go sing in people's churches. I'm mm-hmm. talking mega churches, big yeah. ass like yeah. Thousand people crowds, five hundred people crowds. So I'm getting flown out to go do this for church. I'm like, yo, I could, I could do this. Yeah, and you know what I'm saying? And, and have a career. And have a career. Like and this could yeah. be my career, but I just don't want to do it in church. You it's know what I'm saying? I want to talk never about an option that's gone for you. That's what I'm saying. I yeah. want to talk about my life and you know not be judged by people that's in the church because I feel judge like that's just the word. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like mm-hmm. not even I feel like I know for a fact <laughs> people in church are judge you based off of oh, it's you know, a whole how hypocritical you're living. Thing. It's a whole hypocritical that's, type of yeah. thing. You know. But I'm glad I grew up in a church that mm-hmm. never, even now, like, I go, I could go there and it's like, yo, I listen to your song, da, 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 I really love your mm-hmm. music, you know, embrace me, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So once I got out, I was, I say I'm about like 16, turning 17, and I started making music. I went to the studio, my first ever studio session, came out, made a song, went home. I ended up showing my mother the song and my father the song, and they liked the song. So they was like, you know what, you, you should, you know what I mean, da, 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 da. And I was already thinking, like, how am I going to do this? You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I'm already, like, studying videos on, like, how to start a music career and shit like that. Just on some young boy shit. And then that's that's how, I, that's really how it came to be. I just kept going ever since. Studio session after studio session. Show after show after show. Showing up to every motherfucking thing. So how I actually ended up getting my name Kid Gold. Well, my, were you writing, though? Like, no, I never wrote. When were you, when did you start writing? Never wrote. I so always just, went in the studio and just freestyle. Like, when did you? When was your first session? My first session was November twenty twenty. Word. So in the beginning of the pandy. Yeah, like right in the beginning of the, in the pandemic. When that shit started to be honest like with right, you know. I remember it was November because that's when I ended up setting my distro kit. So that's I why, to not to cut you off, like no, it, you go. it's a precursor. I was doing what I do now with events and shit. I did. Um. Oh yeah, I unlocked it. We're good. Fucking, I um, I did do for like two years. I was doing events. You know, mm-hmm. this it's how I was making a lot of things connect beyond the ciphers and stuff. So I already had kind of as far as the tri-state or this area, who was actually as far as a- in uh, an artist goes, being active, like who was out here down to perform, ready to perform. Anybody. Band every genre, <laughs> every genre. I know who the fuck is down, yeah. and that's what I was reaching out to. But when that that happened and everything got locked down, because you know, last August was the first time. It's coming up on a year, a month from now. But last August was the first one I threw from that. Mm. So from 2019 till last August, I didn't throw a show for oh, two, wow, wow, three wow. years. Damn. So. I'm very aware of how quick things flip and music changes and mm-hmm. how it can take two days for a musician to quit versus another one to be born. Yeah. And that was what my ciphers did. When I was doing ciphers, I was able to constantly see who was new and who was down to like, hey, I have something to show. Yeah. So I've always had those revolving doors of new artists. But I knew that last August, I was going to be in a position where, okay, a two-year gap 
everyone was locked up, I'm in a position where, like, with what I do and care about and am passionate about, where I know I'm going to find a whole new lineup of artists right now. Yeah. So last August was one thing, but once I started the open mics in February, March, and April to lead into what I'm doing now, Mm -hmm. I knew that it was going to be all new people, and that's really what I was searching for. So when I did all these things just to have people pop out, only 60, 70 people pop out to each one, but 40 of them are new every time. Mm -hmm. That's what's different. It's three times, two times a month, and it's different people every time. So now that you've come to every, you've come to every one, like we were saying earlier, and you can see who's come to every one and who's dope versus who's come to a couple and is, you can tell like other things are just keeping them from being the full potential of the musician that they could be or the artist. So this is what I mean. It's not, not only are you working the most, you're becoming the better, the quickest and the dopest on, you know, there's layers of layers of how these things can be built. And from before the pandemic to now, that's what I was saying in the kitchen that now that I have it, this is all new, all these people, I think the July 14th show in a week and a half, two weeks, that's going to be one more for just like, this is where we're at now. But August 12th is where I'm going to bring some old, some old energy and mix it with the new one. And you'll yeah. see exactly what I mean. The, 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 the tier level of what August 12th is going to be is going to be like that's what I mean. Because summer's over at that time too. Mm. So, so as far as time goes, I'm like at that moment where... All right, I'm going to make this like a private party kind of thing. I'll probably drop the album that I've been talking about that day. Okay. I was going to do it this past weekend, but I have visions of these things, and that's what I mean. Like these podcasts, these things really mean a lot to me because when we look back in this a year, for, there's going to be a period in time. What I've noticed from dropping a lot of podcasts is, um, it obviously is like there's there's a storytelling aspect that goes to it, but there's like a a remembrance like when I was doing this music shit a lot of the people that like I was doing it with and my team per se a lot of them died and I didn't have any podcast or long form conversations with them just to like really dissect any moment or story or things like that so this isn't just uh hey who are you where are you from this is a staple in life like I said like we were just saying there's nothing on YouTube of you you know what I mean this is this is gonna be forever forever and ever and ever people are going to be able to look at this and see the clips and see what we were meaning and it doesn't matter about like we were saying the scale because there could be 50,000 people in the crowd that's easier it's easier to perform with more people you guys it's, might think it's scary. It's way more energy it's, in the yeah, building it's not it's, 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 it's a whole other level and it's chunks of energy yeah. it's not like oh that person is definitely fucked up right now <laughs> and I have to like make sure that they're good. And I don't mean yeah. alcohol. I mean, like, sad. Yeah. Like, there's, there's shit that has to transpire for mm-hmm. the energy to be passed around the room the right way. So when you say things earlier, like, me running around doing the most, like, that's... And everybody says that. But that's a good thing. It's, but, it, but no, but that's what I'm saying. It's a good thing. And it's actually, like, a... It's kind of a scapegoat in a way. Like, when I'm doing events and people, like, want to have the long conversation <laughs> you know it like work. i can be like i gotta go make sure yeah. so when you talk about anxiety i claim that i don't have it but i realize i'm very aware that like oh i just have the ability to like i'm Snap. busy yeah i i gotta go it's, do it's this like a coping i can literally be like yo I, I i'll see you in a second and go run the sound yeah like i've never done that to run away from something but it's, but I realize like, oh, it could look like that, <laughs> but but that's a power to like understand and be aware of that that ailment or whatever. So like oh, wow. by having these, I got, oh, go do it right now. I'm gonna play that one clip when he goes there. This game of life is not fair, no, no, no. And I hope you satisfied with it. You only got you tripping. We were tight just like a fitty. Ask if I was you, would I have been the one that did it? They told you you had options, then they go and try to up and try to switch it. I used to roll the I don't turn one free. Picture painted in your head, they made believe. Wasn't meant for me. Yeah, I took some L's, but I did it gracefully. 
So we know now why uh, why the name is. Oh wait, no, we know where it's from. Why is it K Gold though? Why is it K Gold? Um, okay, so my first name is actually Kenneth, right? Mm -hmm. Stick with me. Mm -hmm. That's where the K comes from. The first initial. Ken, right? like where you called Ken. I or was called Kenny. It Kenny. It was just Kenny. All right. So wow, I think you're the first Kenny I ever met. For real? Yeah. Hey, that's what's up. It's Kenneth lit. Kenny. That's the it's first lit. straight up it's first lit. one. Straight so, up. So my last name is actually Ring Gold. So like Ring and Gold. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, what's an artist name that sounds cool but not like too corny? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I just started like thinking of different names. You know what I'm saying? It took me a while, but I was like, you know what, yo, I'm making this shit way too fucking hard right now. So mm -hmm. I was like, I'll take the first initial of my first name, mm -hmm. and then I'll take gold out of ring gold and be like, okay, K gold. So mm -hmm. you know, I just, that works. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? I just started calling myself that, and like, you know, that's clutch. Boom. Yeah, my name is f f so fucking stupid. You guys are saying it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but they saw the YouTube URL and it's Mr. Bugs bitch, <laughs> and like. When you're fucking 18, 17 and you make your shit, you don't realize that, like, damn, my family type shit might look at it. And your <laughs> URL is, oh, what's your YouTube? <laughs> oh, YouTube.com slash Mr. Bugs Bitch. <laughs> They're gonna be like, what type of fucking music are you making or type? Like, they're gonna judge right away. Yeah. And, like, my whole thing is, like, don't judge a book by its cover nice and all this shit. And I'm sitting here setting myself up for doom. <laughs> but the way that I got the name was retarded. I've said it several stories, but I'll, like, speed it up. Okay. I was in Arizona and my homie kicked the tree and a bunch of bugs landed on my shirt. Oh, shit. And I was, like, freaking out and this girl called me a pussy. And she was like, whoa, what's wrong? And I was like, there's bugs, bitch. <laughs> and when I said bugs, bitch, it rolled off my tongue. It felt good. Bugs, bitch. Like when you say that, it's a good sound check thing, too. So if you're ever doing sound check, go like bugs, like bitch, stupid bitch. I that's bet. like, that's my sound check words is stupid bitch. Oh, you see. But it was bugs, bitch. I ran home. Really, I was running away from the bugs. But I ran to my house and I had a, uh, like I left, ver like when I first started rapping, I left spots for what my rap name would be. Mm -hmm. So when I was like rapping, I didn't have a name though. So it would just be a blank. And I did one of the new raps I wrote that day with bugs in it. And it fucking sounded good. Word. So when they chased me back to the house, I was like, oh, it's, I found my rap name, guys. It's Bugs. That's fire. And we all That's celebrated fire. that day. I made like the Mr. Bugs bitch. And like a month or two later, I did the first cypher. The Marlton Cipher, which like started connecting a lot of stuff, but okay. but like I said, I was young, so I didn't think about the marketing or any. I didn't had no clue about being consistent with that shit. Mm. So like, it should be YouTube backslash Bugs Eight Five Six, but I didn't do the Bugs Eight Five Six until later down the line, okay, okay. which makes everything connect because like my Twitter, everything is Bugs Eight Five Six now. Okay, so like where we typed K Gold in YouTube. Mm. K, like your thing came up at the bottom, mm -hmm. but if you type bugs in on YouTube, this dude who does YouTube like a Grand Theft Auto streaming every day for twelve years, God damn. he pops <laughs> up. But if you type bugs a five six, everything of mine pops. Okay. You know, so yeah. so like I don't like the eight five six connection to it. I wish it was just bugs, mm -hmm. you know, b u g g s. But that's I was trying to be unique. I didn't realize that that was going to be an issue with a fucking video game streamer. Yeah. But K Gold, you don't have an issue. We just saw that YouTube no, you know is what? the biggest one where you have an issue with shit. So you know what? When I Google myself, right? Mm -hmm. <sighs> fucking Carrot Gold pops up. Like change. Oh, like and Carrot shit. Gold. Yeah. yeah. So I'll be like, damn, I'm competing mm -hmm. with fucking jewelry. Like I, I want to be able to be Googled at some point. You know? What I, I mean? googled myself the other day, and apparently, I'm a location. <laughs> I'm not a mu I'm not an artist. I'm a location, That's crazy. and I have hours. I'm wow. twenty. I am twenty four seven. Wow. <laughs> like you type in bugs on Google, and it'll mm -hmm. be like, "Hey, book now." Oh wow! And I'll get an email like that. But I, but it doesn't pull up like he's an artist from New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Like that's what it should be. You gotta like really that, get it, it in the it's SEO there, and it's all there, this other though. It's shit. there though. Yeah. It's there. Like for that to be there like that, I think I have to. I think you have to contact Google as yeah. Like, you can you can claim entity, that profile so. actually. Like when you find when you find they're it, they're right. You can I mean claim they're it. right. Yeah. It's not like I'm not a freelance business that's open twenty four seven, but it's just interesting. Like. The contact that's there it's not me it just goes to like <laughs> some other a shit. page yeah which brings you to me it's gnarly 
But like with uh, so your first, so if you started making music in 2020, and your what was your first performance? Uh, it was at a, it was at in Delaware. It was called Cafe Blue. I remember that. I was working at the Waffle House, mm-hmm. and some people came in. Waffle House. I think I've been there like twice. I, I was really living when I was in Carolina. I was living in Elkton, Maryland at mm-hmm. this time. I was living in Maryland. Mm-hmm. I was working at the Waffle House, and some people had came in, and I was just playing my music on a speaker because I worked night shift. Mm-hmm. So they heard the song. I was like, who's this? Who's this? I was in restaurants. I was a server in mad restaurants. Sure. And you can spread your music so quick. That's what I, yeah, like it was, They're either going to hate or quick. love it, though. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's facts. They're going to the tell you if it's yeah. trash because I had another people. people are, who there. When you go to a restaurant and it's nice, dude, you get one step in that kitchen, bro. The ugliest people are cooking your food. No cap. Like, no cap. They're sweating. They're Bumps like, on their face. Yeah, it's bad. Acne, it's dirty bad. fingernails. So it doesn't matter the it doesn't matter what high end restaurant you're in. I worked at the highest end restaurant, seafood in Jersey, and the kitchens are all the same. You're not getting good shit, guys. You know, it's just it's really just placed on a plate. Just stop like it. <laughs> it really, yeah, it really. Just accept I wish people would understand like cooking home and like cooking for yourself yeah. is so much more pure. Like you can it's cook it just healthier. as good as that, sh- and, and it's healthier. Yeah. But like if people really knew what these kitchens looked like, they wouldn't want to go no more. It's me telling them I'm gonna be big. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? And Waffle House, they cook that shit in front of you, and you see the nasty shit. Yeah, you see it. And you motherfuckers still person. don't care. Mm-hmm. Like I had like regulars that would come in there. They see the cook got fucking oh my measles God, on his gone, fucking arm. Dude. You know what I'm saying? And just, like, yo, we had crackheads that worked there. It fucking bugs heroin me out. Addicts, yeah, it bugs all me that out. shit. That's it, what's in like, the kitchen. That's, that's who's that's in the kitchen. Literally, who's bro. in the kitchen? Like, you guys gotta understand how how many restaurants there are. Like, just in Summers Point area or, like, Ocean City or yeah. Atlantic City. It's a lot. How many people are in the front of the house? How many of them are addicts? Like, a lot of them are fucked up. Yeah. And then, like, imagine what you guys aren't seeing. It's bad. It's fucking... Uh, so, like, talk about Waffle Y'all House. See, yo, Waffle, Waffle House, House from 2 to 4 a.m. is, like, a whole vibe. Yeah. It's, like, a whole... I, will, I would even say from, like, it's 2 an to alternate, 5. It's an alternate fucking... What's it called? It's alternate universe, dude. From two to so it's a whole nother dimension. Five. I'm talking. You yeah. seeing people get beat with chairs in that motherfucker? <laughs> Motherfuckers arguing. Then you get the lit so drunk great. people that come in and want to give you mad tips because they just feeling generous. They just it's, want extra syrup and shit. Yeah, yeah, bro. So I was working there, and I spread my music to some some people that came and asked me who it was, and I ended up saying, "Oh yeah, this is me. I just started not too long." That's ago. the way you do it. You so, just play it. Yeah, and don't say don't, what, don't when it, someone's like, "Who's that?" That's like, how you know you start gold. Oh, it's me, it's dude. It's me, actually. It's me, dude. They're like, nah, it ain't no 20 way. minutes later, a different genre. Who's that? Oh, it's... Oh, that's me, too. It's me, dude. I'm dibble and dabble. <laughs> <laughs> I play drums. Yeah, I do. <laughs> a little bit of everything. That's how you trick it, dude. Yeah. That's, and that's that's how you know. You don't have to press people, dude. Yeah. That's that's the number one lesson right there. Clip this part, dude. Facts. Don't even tell people, like, hey, you want to hear my new song? Just play. Just shit. play that shit. Just act like it's a new song you found. Boop. And, and if it's fire, gonna, they definitely gonna be like, yo, bro, who is this? I need that? you to send me this. Oh, it's me. I got you. I'm gonna send it right now. Maybe that's my friend. Like, that's my friend's song. Yeah. We're eating bagels together. Yeah. And- <laughs> exactly. I, remember, I remember the first couple times showing, like, some of my cousins my song. Mm. Just playing it in the car or whatever. Mm. It was like, yo, who the fuck is this kid? It's so bro, funny, this nigga dude. Don't. It's really like, funny. It's me. It's me. And you, and you can hold on to it for a second because it's only for you. Like, it's not for you at that point, but, like, there is a moment where like, all right, I gotta, I gotta choke this bitch a little bit. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, this feels good. Yeah, this is dope. Cause it's like, definitely a good feeling. Yeah, because music can get really art in general can get really tricky with ego and like who you are as a person versus how talented you are and yeah. and what people think of you and stuff. So like, that's another thing I want to like thank you for too. Is like you're not egotistical. That's a big thing that I I focus on. Like, you can be talented that's what a whole vibe means actually so what a whole vibe the show is like you can be good but if you perform really good but you're a dickhead and don't attribute to the energy otherwise and you don't deserve to walk with the bread you're not a vibe yeah so like you not only do that you show more love to other artists than other ones do like that's the other thing like this motherfucker is performing the best pulling up on time with the most people and showing love to everybody. That doesn't fucking happen, bro. And that's the shit I'm looking for. 
So when I talk about a whole vibe, there's a reason you took the home the money every time. Like I'm not just like, oh, like he's good and he brought a lot of no. It's you're doing it every single time. Yeah. And like I said, on top of that, to do this consistently is one thing. But for me, even I'm I'm I'm, I'm impressing myself because like this is this is a twice three month three times a month thing locally mm-hmm. here. Yeah. yeah. So, like, now it's summertime down the beach. I'm really interested to see what happens in two weeks because it's going to be a Friday night down the shore in the middle of July. Like, because oh, remember what August was. August, the, the show we did in August was wild. I don't know if you remember the AC wasn't working that day, though. I, yo. It was hot. I wear hoodies everywhere, so I'll just either be hot or cold. I got to get you a buggy hoodie. I'll definitely wear it. Everywhere. A buggy hoodie, yeah. You. They're comfy as fuck. That's a bet, bro. But but yeah, like, dude, it's like it's the compliments can't go far enough with you, dude. It's like it really is. Uh, it's something different, bro. And and you know that I fuck with a lot of different artists and a lot of different people, just in general, that listen to different genres. Mm. And for your name to be brought up across the board, overall, is that's just what it is. You know what I mean? You have it, so. Just protect that energy. The people that you've been with, Definitely. keep that in a shell for Definitely. sure. And share exactly how you've been doing it, dude. Just share it to everybody because it's necessary and it's needed. And then now that you say the church stuff, it all it all does make a lot of sense <laughs> as far as that goes. You know, I want to see you on the drums. You see it. I want to see you on the drums and, look, and the keys. I'm cool. I'm <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> Just improv with us next time. All right, that's it. On the 14th, because I have the. I won't have it's my the 14th? kit. Yeah. Okay. Bet. I won't have my kit set up, but um, Luke is gonna actually do a do a set with his John. So okay. instead of me opening it up and improving with them, he's gonna have his his set DJ set. Okay. Which is improv, but it's DJ samples. Which is, that's what actually what they call samples and needles for. It's um, it's improv, but it's based off of what they're sampling. Okay. So instead of like a guitar riff, they're sampling something and and improving with the sample. Okay. So that's like what they're doing. But that time, yeah, we'll have the drum and shit set up. That's in two weeks. That's but smart. um, but do you have uh any any like singles or anything on the way? Like any anything set up? Yo, I have Shout Out Morehouse, mm-hmm. a whole album in the works. After that. I got way more singles. I'm, you had I'm in dates the lab, or anything? <clears throat> I can't discuss a date right now. I can't discuss it right no, now. No, I, I don't. I don't need the date, but I'm just saying, like I'm just asking. It's an, yeah, yeah, you yeah, have sure. like for a sure. layout of stuff. For sure, where, right. It's a whole rollout budget behind it, like everything, the whole bet. nine yards. You know what I'm saying? But after bet. after this album drops, it's gonna be two singles in between, mm-hmm. and I'm dropping another album of my own. It's just me. It'll be some some features on there and everything like that. It's gonna be called Heartbreak Hotel. Just what, Heartbreak Hotel? Heartbreak Hotel, yeah. And, you know, it's just going to be me being vulnerable, you know. So it's not even going to be any hype songs or, like, mm-hmm. lit shit. It's just going to be... Yeah, like, no, I heard... Um, is some of that a teaser of what you did this last... Yeah. Last weekend? Yeah. Where it's a different vibe? For sure. So it's just... You know, some... some it's, not different, it's not different, per se. It's just... It's just R&B. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's just... R&B. Yeah, that's what I would say. Yeah. yeah. The the only thing that the shit that was different was the the reggae shit that I did like the Afro shit where I had the Jamaican voice and everything like was that. Was that you? Yeah, that was me. I was wasted on that. That was me. Day. Yeah, that I, was uh, me. There was a big pocket of that night that I <laughs> don't remember at all. <laughs> and, and when I was watching the videos back the next day, I was like, "What?" The one thing I do remember was that your song played right away, and I didn't want it to. Mm. And you were coming to give me the mic back, and but you were like, "Oh, you want this? Oh, this was, is what you want." And I, was, I played it off. I was like, "Yeah, that's what I want." <laughs> like, no, I wanted to. I wanted to give you like an intro. I wanted to say something for ten seconds, and like have that. You know what I mean? I had like a, a buggy speech I was gonna yeah. give for it, but it just worked like that. That's funny how that and it was definitely happens. lit. It was definitely lit. You know. No, it was funny because when I watched the clips, like I, there's a whole recap from Coco Evolve that's gonna come, but like. I was interested, like how how's he gonna top it in here, like with like There's nothing, no, to, climb nothing to climb on. How do you top? You what climbed you did? on them. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You climbed? You still cl- you were already high, and you kind of climbed like another inch, and you're just like you were still you still climbed. <laughs> it worked. It was perfect. And the fog fucked me up, dude, because I couldn't. I, I'm a performer that likes to look everybody in the eye, mm-hmm. but when you can't see past the first line of people. Because of lights or fog or whatever, it it changes 
it really changed my performance because I was depending on that's what I mean but less people is harder like mm. this wasn't even a moment I know there was fucking 40 50 people in there but mm. when I was doing it I only saw three people oh, okay, every time okay. I opened my eyes because of the smoke and the lights okay so every emotion that I felt was the same person and I needed I needed something else to look at another face no offense yeah. to the people that I was looking at <laughs> but you're all beautiful people but I, ne- I needed everyone's energy so that I didn't feel like if this is a part of the song where I'm like fucking the air I'm like staring at the same person you know what I mean like there'd be like, moments yeah you. like yeah there's, there's <laughs> moments where I'll be humping it dude and, and I can't look at the same person but when I open my eyes and it's the same person, it's like, all right, well, you're, you're chosen. <laughs> no, you're, you're chosen. You should come home with me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what fucking happens. And, but, but in those moments, it changes the whole performance. So even when I'm running away to change the auto-tune and stuff, like I had to run back. I didn't have that set up in a good spot on top of fog. Like it was just, it was such yeah. a good, fun show at night. But as a performer, I was not happy. I was not happy with my performance that night. But obviously, everybody that tells me is going to say like, "Oh, you killed it!" Uh, nah, you, you but they don't. Do they don't. Good. They don't. They don't know like the criteria of what I expect nah. to do. You know, you, you're yeah. supposed to be hard on yourself, like, though. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. That's how you breed greatness. Yeah, and that's what I was explaining to. Them. I was like, a couple of people got like offended at that I wasn't accepting their compliment, mm. and I had to explain it. I was like, "Listen, no matter what you tell me, yeah, I'm gonna think like I this. know it's, what I did. Yeah. Like I perform this shit every day, you know." Mm. Like you saw how how we did the live take earlier. When I, I work out every morning, and after my workout, when I'm exhausted, I run through like ten minutes, twenty minutes of a set. Mm. So I do it when I'm fully exhausted yeah. to know which words I need to breathe in. Which that's why none of my songs. I'll, I'll do a song or two that have vocals on it, mm. but it's not for breath. I can still do every word. It's more for the sound that I want. Okay. But like I, I test myself every day as far as cardio and just getting that shit out there yeah. and this past show dude it was like you can't you can't account for fog you can't account for that unless you like run like a yeah, whole like, practice yeah, like, that bitch, which you know? I do which I do simulate but it, it's, it's it, different even, simulating it, it with no people than ener- people yeah energy's different being prepared like, oh there's gonna be this amount of people but wait the fog is covering that people so I can't yeah. see them and I'm not like it's connect- gonna be like five people on the right hand side yeah cause yeah, I'm doing man. it to connect yeah and I'm not getting that fucking and the, like the one rule that they tell performers I, don't, I wanna ask you this I stare I need to look people in the eyes when I perform do you not look at people or do you look at their foreheads or I, I look people in the eyes I sometimes. do too they tell they tell performers not to do that and I, I like I doing call it. bullshit dude. I, yeah that's what I'm, I like doing it because yeah. it lets that person know I see you you mm-hmm. see me we, we in this moment me and you mm-hmm. are connected right that's now. how I feel a lot, of, a lot right of a lot of a lot of you'll notice a lot of people look away when you do it mm-hmm. like because they're like, they're they, like oh, they don't oh. want that attention yeah but and I'll that, just keep looking at that him. for me is like it's not the, about them looking. I want them to look, but like when you look at the top of their head, I feel it's, it's everything becomes a lie because mm. the person behind them thinks you're looking at them, mm. and then you like. So I'd rather like yeah, I want them to do that because I want them to know that like this that's the one yeah. I'm looking at. Yeah. So that being said, if there's only three people I can see, it's like I'm gonna look at you, now and I'm, I'm talking about. Fucking, <laughs> like, and it's just my homie fucking eating an edible. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's like, dude, all right, God, I just want to laugh. What's going he, on? Yeah, I'm goofy as shit, and I want to call shit out like that while I'm performing. But I have to stay in like character. Almost. Yeah, I don't know how you are when you're performing, but I'm like, I'm not performing. I'm always fully. I kind of watch myself do it. That's like, yo. I be telling my manager the same thing. Yeah. I be like, yo, that's I'm not, not doing Kenny. it. That's yeah. Kid Gold up there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I mean, Bugs is sometimes Bugs I feel is like, Brandon, but I'm not. Like, Brandon's watching it. It's yeah, that's hard what to I'm explain. saying. It's like, it's like almost like you feel possessed in a sense. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, like demonic shit, yeah. but just like you're not the normal person. That's you how are you on know you're connected to something different, and that's what's different with your performances and your songs and shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not like I'm not just saying this shit, dude. I've done this a long time, nah, and I'm not, I'm not like just saying this. Like, I everyone will attest to the performances and the songs and the execution of it. Like, the songs are good. Like, it matters when everything's better than what the other thing is. So, like the song, like I said, the artist can be a really good performer, but if they're a dickhead. Mm-hmm. It, it somehow it takes away from everything. 
you know, I've dealt with a lot of people that are really talented, but then <clears throat> hanging out with them for like two minutes after the show, and they carry that ego of the stage presence into the back room, and it turns into like a weird, like a dick swinging concert. Yeah, and it's like yeah, like that's I hate a, that shit. yeah, it's it's just not what it should be. You don't carry that. The fact that you're better than everybody and like not not in a better than everybody thing. Yeah, just I know the fact you that you're better in the execution of everything, and then you're better at the socializing. You're better in every aspect, dude. It's 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 honestly nuts. It's rare, dude. It's rare as fuck. So for that to be happening, it's like, and I'm with a lot of different people who listen to a lot of different genres, and across the board of people who don't listen to rap, people who listen to this specific. Dan jam bands or rock or they all say your name there's might be a couple people who say this but i can i already know why they say that name because it's more of their style mm. but the only pe the, that's the only reason your name isn't getting said that's what i mean so like honestly bro like i think you should really start dropping just constant content of everyday thing like of what you've done the last year I know you have a lot of reels and stuff, like not reels, but like Snapchats and videos from your performances from the past year and shit. For sure. Like just every, just do one reel a day, like on everything though, on your YouTube, Instagram, sure. TikTok, all of it, dude. Just post one reel a day, just like not even thinking about new shit, just everything you already have. Because mm. if you really break that down, dude, if you do every day, you you definitely have one video worthy a day type shit. If you stretch that out, bro, 50, like 52 weeks, obviously times seven, that's a lot. It seems like a lot. But when you're like, you can pick phases of it. It's like, I look at, I look at the, the posting and shit because I was doing all this content from the beginning of 2019 and 2020 and I just built a lot of live takes and a lot of energy up. And it came to the point where I realized, holy shit, I, if I want to just post one <clears throat> thing a day, I can do that for a year straight. And I, when I got to that point, I was like, oh shit, I'm going to do it. And I did it. And that's when I started making quap. I started just making, now they're not offering the bonus reels anymore, which, <laughs> which fuck y'all for that's that, ass. honestly. Fuck but, you, Instagram. <laughs> but you don't have a YouTube, like you're on YouTube yet. So when you establish it and start it, you're going to be thrust in a different thing. The algorithms, all that shit matters. So, dude, you got to, I think you should just do everything and fully go hard. Like, you would, you would blow up on YouTube. Uh, YouTube's underrated. YouTube got mm -hmm. weird for like for two years because like if you said a curse word on this podcast, for example, my U my YouTube is monetized, but I can't monetize any video because I curse in a lot of them, which means they're not for kids. Or I talk shit about what I feel like talking shit about. Like just that sentence right there is enough to demonetize, demonetize. this whole video. Yeah, they'll still throw ads on it, which is fucked up, but. Imagine we said something about the pandemic that they disagree with. They would flag it. Like, like something about that. We're dealing with real freedom of speech shit. Yeah. Like, and it's and, only going to get worse, though. Yeah. No, it's, it's, I think it's turning. I think it's turning. And YouTube actually has gotten better in the past mm -hmm. couple months. But that was also why I took a break from throwing shows and all that, too. I wasn't about to put people through the whole vaccine thing. Because yeah. I, I wasn't dealing with that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, what I do is bring people together and... You Everything well. on the media was tearing people apart. Yeah. So it was a really weird time. And a lot of things split apart. But like I said, in that two, three year gap, you you were bred as a musician. You were like, no, I'm K Gold now. You know, yeah. 2019, you weren't that. 2020, you were. <laughs> yeah. 2021 Crazy. and 2020, 2022 is when I did the first thing. Wait. I think it was like. It's 2023, right? It's 2023 now, yeah. Jesus. I think it was like 21. Yeah, 22 last year was when. That was the August. Yeah, it was twenty two. Yeah, so it was, it was last 22. year. That was the first ever one I came to. I think. I think. I the feel first... like I've known you for a long time, dude. That's what happens when two. It hasn't even been a year. Meet. Yeah, that, that's the thing <laughs> that's too. That's what happens. Two that's the thing too. You'll meet. notice that at these shows, like some people feel like family right away. Yeah, that's the whole for point, sure. dude. Like everyone's invited. But you're not going to stay welcome, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, I understand. Like, you're going to feel like I shouldn't be here. And if you don't feel like that, then yeah. nothing has to even be said. Because it's all love, regardless. Yeah, for sure. Every time. So, yeah, dude, I just want to, like, to wrap all that up, dude, I really want to um, congratulate and say thank you for 
allowing us to witness the growth and and vibe of everything you're doing because I believe in it and I know a lot of other people do and I just want to see the growth of it you know what I mean and I, I can't imagine I, I mean I don't know how much you're holding or hoarding like I, I'm a type of musician that holds I make a lot so but I just keep dropping because I don't want to hold a lot mm. so like I hope like the one thing that I say is like I just hope you don't vault shit I hope you just let those moments of your creation be that moment and drop it in its entirety whatever the vibe is you know yeah. I don't think you should overthink like this project has to be that or like this single has to be that because you're just dope in its entirety. So for you, it's a unique thing. I don't think it matters. No, I appreciate it. I think bro. you could just drop. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, like anything. I appreciate it. At any it, time, you know, like a budget, all that. Yeah, but like you, you could just go, dude. <laughs> just go. <laughs> just fucking go. <laughs> just do it. Yeah, just fucking do it. Right. But what's what's your um like what do you um so you have like what's your next project dropping? Like, oh, uh, okay. Plan? Morehouse Volume Two is dropping. I got no negotiations dropping. That's gonna be a single. Mm. It's. Do you have like a date? I'm. I do, but I'm not gonna share. It. Oh I'm yeah, not gonna right, share it. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna share. The I forgot. Date. I forgot. I got one, but I'm not gonna share. My manager would be so mad at me. Facts. Um, no negotiations. I'm working on some pop records actually. Good. Working That's what I want to hop on. I'm working on some pop. I'm a pop star, bitch. Yo, we definitely got to get one in. Yeah, come to a show. You'll see. I'm, I'm actually a pop star. I could tell, like, the way you perform mm -hmm. and, like, the type of bounce your music has. Yeah, I'm a pop I could, star. I'll be, like, I'll be telling I'll be like, yo, he could do pop. I'm a pop star. That's what it is. Like, I can talk ignorant shit. That's fun <laughs> to do. But, like, it really what it was, like, my family, I wanted to have music that, like, I could play for my nieces. Yeah. And I had to start. And it's like I was telling them about, like, my inspiration. It's like love. It's a hopeless romantic yearning for a love that I don't have type thing. Yeah. But wording that in a pop essence with lyrical, miracle rapper lyrics <laughs> yeah. and the melodic of that, dude, it's like, I don't think anyone's touching that. And the yeah. fact that I can play the drums with it and yeah. then have us do it, yeah. like, I'm really, I'm right on that level. And pop is like, I don't give a fuck about none of like the boundaries as far as like young bull game and rap i don't give a fuck i'll rap when i'm in 70 fucking seven, dog. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, be tell, yeah, I'll be talking I'll be about fucking you faces when i'm 77 i don't give a <laughs> fuck Margaret right here like that's this is a good prelude to a video when i'm 77 i fucked her face <laughs> I'm sample this, i dude. grabbed the pigtails and i fucked her face, fuck her face <laughs> dude <laughs> Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds and all, dude. It's perfect. Dude. Oh, shit. But that's, what, that's, that's literally the point for all this shit is, like, there is no point, bro. Like, what are we doing? None of us know what we're doing, dude. None of us know why we're here. Like, so why wouldn't I take it an initiative to document as much as I could? Because, like, I have this weird, this weird sci-fi dream, not nightmare, like, daydream of, like, Everything in the world just disappears, and it's gone. And there's like a future, future species that just happens to survive, and like they stumble upon something, and they trip, and it's this laptop. This is documentary. And when they open the laptop, it just powers up by itself, and it's fucking just has my file. And that, they, they like they say, and they click yo, it. That's and, a crazy and that's concept like, to think about. That's where that's knowledge continues in that's thousands. Like evolution. Thousands, yeah. Like all this lost technology, but what are the chances? Like, I like the selfish reason I make music is to live forever. Like the the, the psychology, the, the lessons that I learn, all these things. But in reality, the only thing that stands the test of time is statues. Like straight yeah. up. So we need statues. Yeah, that's like my conclusion. But if we can make the statue have like holes in it, so that when the wind blows, it plays one of our songs. Yo, that'd be crazy. Like, yeah, like there would be a way to. That'd like, be crazy. Or like, it's like a tomb. You hit the bottom like button, and like the laptop comes out. Like, Yo, you know, like, that so, would be. That's a movie, bro. Wild. These no are cat. all movies, no dude. These are all movies, and that's then this could be in crazy. the movie. Like, that's kind of my vision with everything I'm doing. This isn't just documenting life and like, oh, it's a recap for a show that just happened. No, mm. like in fucking four years, that recap is going to matter a lot because what this person did in four years, yeah. what you did, what I did, what yeah. they did, and the character arcs are real. Like, I'm, I'm actually dropping the gems now. Like, I'm going to 
have a fucking full documentary in like seven more years by 2030. Okay. Ten year wrap up from 2020 to 2030 of just everything that's happened. Damn. Like as far as everything I've documented from the protests to the music to how everything changed and yeah. dynamic and communities communicated with arguing with vaccines and all this shit into (laughs) just like okay let's party together and like like it's really weird but like to have you and it's musically based it's artistically based so when i did the ciphers and people got signed and shit i didn't have all that documented all i had was the cipher i didn't have like where i was or what i was doing right now this is different all of this is a part in in the whole thing so like the vision behind it isn't just like let's throw a show tomorrow. It's, yeah. The show tomorrow is going to matter for what you do in a year. Just like this conversation, yeah. whenever whenever you pop or I pop or someone pops around us, they're going to trickle into this and they're yeah. going to find you or they're going to. That's how it's going to happen. That's how, I know that's how it's going to happen. I'm not. I'm like, that's why I'm just staying consistent, dude. I'm just being consistent with the energy and documenting all this shit. I know this shit's going to matter to a lot of people one day. Definitely. To a lot of people. And talking about my nieces. To my nieces. They'll understand why their uncle's a fucking, a little bit of a weirdo. Like, (laughs) all my, nobody in my family makes music. No Mm. one. On any side of any generation. Wow. So I'm definitely viewed in my family as, like, a little different. Yeah, like a black sheep almost. Yeah, Yeah, but... But they'll understand when they, when they all get older, as far as they go. Yeah, that 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 is a whole like it's a whole conundrum in itself. It's weird. It's, yeah. Oh, you want to do that? You know, that's not like a real career. Yeah. Okay, whatever. I don't care about what you're talking about. Yeah, it is <laughs> though. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, that's why I was just like, okay, whatever. You're just gonna is. in five years, you're gonna see that I'm paying your bills. I'm yeah, buying you houses. Anything like that. I'm making see, sure that's your life the, is that good. spiteful stuff doesn't fuel me though. That makes me angry. Like, whereas that would make people like I could see how it would motivate you. Yeah. That makes me like it turns me into more of a poet okay. than a hustler. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. It doesn't make me like I'm gonna prove it to you. It makes me like, oh, why do they think that? <laughs> what what were they what dream did they have? That that died. That yeah. died because someone else was like, that's not realistic. Yeah. And I go into the human aspect of it and really try to paint it from a from that sense instead I, of like I come from like a a little bit of both. Like, mm-hmm. okay, I understand why you're saying this to me. Something that you wanted to work out really, really bad didn't yeah. work out. You Even know what if saying? it doesn't correlate, reason, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Even though it doesn't correlate with the fuck I'm doing. Yeah. But I'm not gonna let you let my mind start. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I can't afford to have that because that takes away precious time from me. No one can. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't let you have that. So I'm gonna just show you better than I can tell you. Facts. And all we have is time. That's, like at the end of the day, is all we fucking have. That's the most precious thing. You look at all these apps. It's not really money. Money's not the pre- most precious thing. It's, it's the time. time spending it More, on it, and you look at shit long enough, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Uber. They're not. They don't really. It, the money is good. But it saves people time. That's why you get mm-hmm. so many customers. You make a product that saves people a lot of time, you're going to make a lot of fucking money because time is the most precious thing in the world. What do I be doing with my shows? Connect the set. Connect. Put them together. Exactly. Condense it. Do it as fast as possible. A whole fucking vibe. A whole That's what vibe. I'm saying. It's a whole dude. vibe. Every yeah, you time. package it the right way. Do yeah. it quick. People be like, oh, well, the show's not over because it's still uh, happening. Uh, uh, it's still uh, happening. Uh. And then that way you don't got, okay, we're going to take a five minute interview. We're going to go smoke. We're going to, oh, you want to hear this little Uzi song that they play at every fucking corner? Mm-hmm. Like, shout out to Lil Uzi. That's not what I mean. But you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it becomes very generic. That's, that's where the things are separated. But... Dude, I'm really stoked for everything you have dropped. Um, I guess um, they're raging in there. I want to go take some shots with them. Fucking hell yeah, let's go. Take I guess some the shots way we'll them. end it is um, if you could tell the world anything, like if the world was gonna end tonight, what would you say? What I say? It's a very deep question, but like if you could just basically end it with a statement as far as like, yo, remember this: live your life to the fullest. Always be a down to earth genuine motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Don't ever trade your morals for, you know, something you don't agree with. Whether it be monetarily or, you know, just doing something you don't want to do and that's against your morals. And you know, you always gonna remember me. You're always gonna remember me. I'm gonna leave a legacy. Whether it's through my children, whether it's through the music, whether it's through everything, you're gonna remember me. I'm gonna make sure you remember me. 
sex. Oh, gee, oh, gee. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know? Thank you.